Welcome to Dax for Humans. My name is Greg Deckler. In this episode, we're going to be creating a new calculated column using Dax. Okay, so I'm going to show just how easy Dax is. Right now I have my Power BI desktop loaded. If you don't, go ahead and load it up. And I have my episode 4 Power BI file loaded. So this is the status of this file after the last episode. If you don't have any data or anything, um, then go ahead and watch the last few videos so you can get to this point and come on back. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be, going to be creating a calculated column using DAX. And to do that, we're going to go to the data view. So I'm going to click on the data view over there on the left side. That's this icon. And you can see I have my data here that we entered in a few episodes ago. Now I want to create a new column. So right now it automatically selected my table tools. And now I can click on new column. Now when I do that, it's going to open up this little DAX formula bar. It says it gave a name for my column, column equals. And I'm going to go ahead and change that. And I want to this to be total cost. So we're going to create a total cost column. And what the total cost column is going to be is just simply our price column multiplied by our quantity column. And the way to do that to reference a column in DAX you use a square bracket. And as you can see, IntelliSense has already popped up and said, oh, here are some columns that you can use. So I'm going to pick price, and then I'm going to choose the asterisk for multiply. And then I'm going to hit my square bracket again, choose quantity. And now when I hit enter, it creates my total cost column. And as you can see, it has my total cost of my pickle row. First row is 399 times 2, which is 798. And then my banana row, and the next row down is 299 times 3, gives me 897, etc. So that's how easy DAX is. There you go. Everyone was telling you about how complicated and how hard DAX is to learn. It's not really hard to learn. Um, and so in the next videos, I'll be showing you some, some more examples of DAX and how to use DAX. Uh, in your Power BI reports. And it's all going to be very simple and very easy. That is all for this episode. You've created your first DAX formula, uh, creating a calculated column in DAX. In the next episode, we're going to be creating what's called a measure using DAX. So hope to see you next time. And that's all for now.